Welcome to Fo's journey across the bridge. I'm Fozia. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that, especially if you're enjoying the content. And as well, click the like button if you enjoy it. And if you want to get um, notified, you would need to click on the notification bell so that when I do post new videos um, sharing important or useful information, um, it will notify you. So yeah, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, we're talking about expectations. So I want to come and kind of give you guys my my thoughts around that and um, yeah, and see what you guys think. So, you know, expectations, I want to know, are they serving you or are they frustrating you? Okay, so what do you think? What do you guys, what is your experience around that? So I feel like when it comes to expectations, if um, when we're not careful and we, especially the expectations that we place on other people, if we're not mindful of um, the type of connection or relationship we have with those people, then we can um, be let down and it can happen often because it's possible that we are setting um, false expectations or unrealistic ones. So before I go any deeper, let's take a moment and to catch our breath and to take three deep breaths in. Here we go. Doesn't that feel good? I feel so centered when I pause and I take three deep breaths. Because I find that when I, um, when I get ready to come and share information with you guys, I get a little bit nervous. And that nervousness sometimes gets me to speak a little bit too fast. So I find that when I pause and I take nice deep breaths, that I really that it really brings me to this present moment. And of course, it allows this nice flow of oxygen through your brain and everything. So it allows you to relax. And that way, the information that I want to share with you guys will flow much more, you know, easily rather than because I like for it to flow and I want it to be that way. And because I feel like then it's coming from my best intentions it's coming from a, a space of like, being um, divinely guided and it's not just me rambling or um, just offering some empty information right so yeah so your expectations how are you setting them so that you can set yourself up for success so that you can set yourself up to actually have an outcome that is desirable so what I understood as I was exploring this more to come and talk to you guys about it um, of course, I have, I have arrived to in my own conclusions of um, expectations that I place on other people, and what I have found that works for me is removing um, expectations. So it's almost like, because it's almost like a reset. Um, I feel like in the past I have placed a lot of expectations on people, and. You know, what then ends up happening is you get upset with those people, you judge them, or you become impatient. So I thought, why don't I just remove those expectations? Because I felt like people were not um, meeting my expectations and I was getting upset and frustrated. So to offer myself peace and, and to return to that constant space of being in peace, I said, let me remove the expectations that I place on other people and place them all on myself. And that way, I am responsible for the experience that I want to have. So, you know, if I, because sometimes we have, um, like we get into the habit of placing these, um, these heavy, ex it might not even be heavy expectations, but just under the assumption, like assuming, and maybe because of history or like familiarness or whatever it is that you share with someone, maybe our assumption of the connection that we have with someone 
it's not as deep as we assume right and so that's one part so if you're assuming that you have a certain level of connection with someone where then you can have a level of ex expectation of them okay you need to be clear on that what is the connection have i communicated to those people and have we communicated with one another how we want to show up in each other's life like the role that we want to play right so then if you were to expect someone to be there for you first of all there has to be that uh, mutual understanding that you have that type of relationship right so if you're just in a space of you're assuming that you have this connection and so you place these expectations that you can rely on someone and you haven't really checked in to make sure then you're setting yourself up as well but what if you um what if you what if it's like one of those relationships where you assume because whether it's family or friends from a long time or people from your community whatever it may be and so you're just thinking well it's natural because we have all these un, untold rules that like you know if someone is your family if someone is your blood if someone is has been in your life for a long time if it's a friend no matter what it is there's this kind of like assumption that those people we can place certain level of expectations on them right so the one point that i want to start by making is exactly that you have to kind of reassess that reassess it and to be fair to those people as well is like everyone has um is in different stages in their life so you can't have this uh, assumption that you can expect a certain level of um you know of, of kind of an experience from someone not knowing or assuming that you understand where they are and that they understand where you are do you see what i'm saying so it's just like you know where are you with a certain connection that you would assume that you have a certain that you can expect a certain type of experience from them so that's one and so and at the same time when i removed expectations from a lot of people and placed it on myself then i it allowed me also to um to kind of evaluate what expectations can i myself carry or what expectation that was supposed to be mine that i was placing elsewhere right so it depends on you know whatever culture you come from whatever environment you grew up in you might have this understanding that you know you can expect certain things from certain people certain groups of people and if that's not your current reality you want to go back in and update so i'm always referring back to this updating right updating as you grow and you're in this new space in your life and this new stage in your life you need to you need to go back and you need to reevaluate where you are with with people and at the same time where are your expectations with those people and it's 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 for the benefit of you and for those individuals right so having uh, a false expectations and then being upset with someone is not fair to them either and then it just offers you this great sense of peace and it returns your power to you and that's something that i'm also very passionate about is empowering myself and empowering others so in empowering myself and others is to give us the information and the tools that can allow us to stay and stand in that space right mm -hmm. to truly stand in that space so if we are assuming something that is not true it's not really um we have this false sense of information so to to really stand in your own power is to take back all those areas where you are supposed to be in control you're supposed to be the one who holds power to that right so set realistic expectations of people and in order to do that you have to really go back and see what expectations have i placed on others first of all why am i upset at someone because i expected this go back and reassess not even going back but just from where you are right now assess that right so the way i am like now you know looking at it is like it's like a scale right so are you placing the right amount of expectation on someone it has to be some kind of scale do you see what i'm saying if you have put too much expectation on one side of the scale 
right? That means you have put too much expectation on someone. So it's almost like, can they really be able to, to, to balance it? Can they really be able to show up in that area? And so I think that would help. Look at how much you're scaling it. Look at how much you're, how much weight you're placing on expectations that you put on someone in your life and those that you put on yourself. So, yeah, I would say, I would say do that because it brings you so much peace to be able to remain in, you know, in control of your own um, influence of experience. When I say that, I mean, like if you go, if I'm in, say you're hanging out with a group of people and you have this expectation that all these people that I'm hanging out with, I, I am under the assumption that they we have a great connection so they will have my back if something is going on but what if you are not really paying attention and things have changed and that expectation is not the same so even though you may assume that people will have your back even though you have that expectation you still need to have i but i expect me to be the first one to have my back i expect me to be the one who is in charge of offering myself peace and creating peace for me. It should always be the, the the heavier part of the scale when it comes to expectations should always fall on you, on the individual and not on other people. So remove that and allow yourself to fully stand in your own power of taking care of yourself, solving your situations and, and placing very little, if need be, expectations on other people. So when I come to that now, Let's say that, you know, there are great connections that you have in your life. And so you can expect like, you know, if people are going to come into your life, you need to set healthy boundaries. So this is where boundaries and and, um, and expectations can come in together. Like there is an influence on each other. So when you set healthy boundaries, you are setting expectations where you want people to treat you a certain way. So say you want people to treat you with respect, with kindness and appreciation. And so if you have connections of people with people and you find those connections to be valuable, then you're going to expect them to treat you in a kind and loving way. And they're going to expect the same from you. And if now those expectations are not met, you need to assess, okay, I need to bring up to this person or these people. How come they treating me in a way that I don't want to be treated? Right, so it allows you to to clean up it often those um, relationships that you have. You want to make sure you maintain it, maintain the ones that are healthy. You want to make sure that you're also attending to the ones that are no longer serving you because they're not matching how you treat yourself and how you want to be treated. So you can set expectations, and those can be done in forms of healthy boundaries. So knowing all of that right? Knowing all of that. And my overall message that I just want to share today is remove this large expectation that you place on other people and return it to yourself. That's number one. Set healthy boundaries around what you're expecting from people and stand firm in that. Don't back down and say, well, you know, I expected them to respect me today and they didn't. So, I'm just going to give them a second turn, a third or fourth. You have to have firm boundaries that can, you know, let people know what's important to you when they want to experience you and be part of your life, right? You want to have those set boundaries. And this is one area where you are allowed to have a very high level of expectation of others, but you're not leaving the decision of whether they meet it or not all to them. So you're saying even though I place this high level of expectation on you in order for me to have a great exchange and maintain peace with in my life as um, and having you in that experience, I need you to show up this way. And if you're not, then the power of where you get to come in and exercise that right, of you're not respecting my boundaries, we're going to have to pause. You're going to have to go and we're going to have to distance one another, right? So the power is returned to you even though you had placed the high expectations. Do you see what I'm saying? The outcome of action still remains in your corner. So this is the part where I'm saying if you are expecting a certain outcome where it requires an action 
and you're placing it on other people in order for you to have peace, to have joy, to have happiness, to have success, you need to remove it. The action has to come back to you. The bigger expectation should be on yourself and not on other people. Okay? So let me see here what else I wanted to share when it comes to that. Um, I think you want to do with your restoring your peace of mind. Yeah, so that's already been mentioned. Yes, so because sometimes we assume that people have the ability, okay, to perform the way that we are expecting them to perform, right? So once you're having this assumption that someone can, can, um, like, cause, cause there, there's so much that goes into someone's ability to, to be able to do something. If someone does not have the tools or the know-how, they cannot actually show up for you the way that you may need or require them to. So also having that understanding, which then allows you to come from a space of compassion, right? In order for someone to be able to perform a certain way, they have to have the tools for it. If they're willing and there is this understanding and a deeper connection where that person is willing and you can then teach them how you want to be treated, so you have this expectation of this, there's, um, there's growth that's going to happen. This person is showing effort and people are willing to um, make necessary changes. They're willing to learn how. That's something different. But if you find that someone just does not have the ability to do it, you can expect that of them, right? So when you know you need something from someone and they don't have the ability to do it and you understand that, then you remove the expectation, right? You remove it. So either they're, they don't know how to and they're willing to learn or they don't know how to and they don't want to learn. And sometimes people just don't want it. So it's better for you to have that awareness and make that decision for yourself. The way that I've really been able to maintain my peace, as I mentioned um, in the beginning, is just returning that power back to me. So look at it as you claiming back your power. I, don't look at it as, you know, as a negative, right? Look at it as a positive expectations of me, of what I need to perform in my life, of how I need to show up in my life and remove it from other people. That way you will have so much peace. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. You know, have a look into your your experiences and see if your expectations are actually serving you or if they're frustrating you. And if they are frustrating you, that is because you have placed too much expectations on others. You have placed maybe even false expectations. Maybe you need to go reassess and see what are the type of expectations that you need to set. And at the same time, look at if people have the ability to offer, to be able to, to show up in those areas or not. And set firm boundaries. Those boundaries will allow you to come back and say, okay, they're not meeting my expectations. They're not willing to resolve. I'm moving forward this way. This is how you can return to that state of peace. Okay? So when you are aware of your boundaries, you can stand firmly in them. And if you are not respecting or if you are breaking or not showing up for the expectations that you have placed on yourself, then that's something that's a bit um, that you need to kind of sit and assess with. Why am I having these expectations of myself? Are they realistic? Can I achieve them? Do I have the tools to do so now? Is this an area that I need to go and learn to be able to succeed in this area? Am I setting realistic expectations? And if so, how come I have not yet reached it? Or, excuse me, is it just not the right time? Should I be more patient with myself? Is it a gradual growth and I'm expecting it right now? What What is it that I'm expecting of myself that is not yet showing up? And why, and why am I looking at it as a negative or a positive? So assess that and have a deeper understanding of what that looks like for you. So I hope this um, bit of summary that I'm sharing when it comes to expectation has brought some kind of like uh, information for you or even at least allowed you to kind of like question yourself and see what are your expectations and how are you 
having experience around that and hopefully that can allow you to look further into it and offer more peace for yourself by setting healthy boundaries around your expectation of yourself and others so yeah i hope that it was useful like i always say any information that i do share if you benefit from it i'm so glad to to know that and if not um that's okay too so again this is false journey across the bridge and thank you for joining bye bye